And, uh, you know, we, we've earned it. We deserve it, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> we do deserve some more warmth. You know, we've got some good sunshine for a good part of our day tomorrow. Your sun rises at 604, setting at 833. So time enough to get to the pool. Unfortunately, we do have a few isolated thunderstorms that might develop after the two o'clock hour and then become more scattered through the early evening. So the motto is tomorrow you want to get to the pool earlier and enjoy your stay. And don't forget that sunscreen too. We're going to be hot out there. 87 degrees. This is above normal for us. We typically are at 82 this time of the year. And then we see a big dip in temperatures on Sunday. That's the one day that we expect to be well cooler than below normal temperatures. We've got 81 degrees on Monday, 82 on Tuesday, and we've got 80 back on Wednesday with some upper 70. So we're warm. We're just not as hot. We don't have those major extremes to swing us back into those mid and upper 80s. We do have code yellow concerns for particle pollution into Saturday. Also code orange for ozone action day impacts folks even as far north and west as the mountains as we have that for the above 4,000 feet elevation. Uh, we're looking at late day storm chances too on Saturday. We're talking about hot conditions combined. It'll feel a little more humid as that moisture rolls in. We are seeing that stream of smoke from the wildfires out over Nova Scotia, the Halifax area, and bringing in smoke all the way from the mid Atlantic. So New York included in this and now it's stretching into the trine and we've seen that over the last 24 hours, some higher concentrations than we had an earlier forecast for you yesterday and now more spots of smoke expected for you tomorrow. So we'll watch some of that start to dissipate at times. You can see higher concentrations that'll stream in with that northeasterly flow. The good news is that we have a cold front coming in, so it should help to shift our surface smoke conditions by late evening on Sunday. We're clearing out and a lot less active weather. Hopefully they'll get some good rain up to the north too that might help impact folks and help the firefighters there. We have code orange for ozone production. This is when we have 80s sunshine and ground level ozone forming with some of the pollutants from our cars, the vehicles creating concerns here along with the particle pollution for the smoke. We've got lots happening out there. You know, May was actually a cool month for us, the 26 coldest man record when it comes to our average temperatures, it, but it was dry. We had the 57th driest May on record, even though we made up for some of that rain last weekend. We certainly had a nice cooler stretch. We're looking forward to this warmth. We do deserve it. You're right, Kenny. We've got temperatures out there at 84 degrees in Burlington, 82 Winston Salem. Right now we've made it to 84 degrees for afternoon highs, and then we see your morning temperatures that are going to be mild back into the upper 50s and low 60s. High today officially at 84 in Greensboro as well as Winston-Salem, 83 in Mount Airy. Everyone tomorrow will see similar conditions. You know, we've had so much rainfall over the spring, more than 13 inches from March through May. Tomorrow we might get another quarter to half inch with some of the stronger thunderstorms, and that happens to develop the later we go through the afternoon hour. So around two o'clock, some isolated storms, better action between five to seven o'clock, and a few scattered storms remaining in the southern Piedmont through nine, ten o'clock. We can see some of those showers also linger in the mountains as well as the foothills through about 1, 2 a.m. More humid weather for you too in the mountains, but even there you're warm. Highs in the upper 70s to near 80 tomorrow, and we'll keep in storm chances through early to late evening. All right, seven day forecast quickly shows you that sunshine remains and lots of good 80s to upper 70s through next week.